Are you a DoorDash dasher who has been wrongly accused of not delivering an order? Have you ever been deactivated due to a customer's false claim? If so, you are not alone. Many DoorDash customers are outraged by this new feature that prevents them to claim an order that wasn't delivered even when it was. Let's talk about it and see what can be done to address this issue. A new DoorDash feature has customers outraged, and you might ask why. DoorDash is known for taking care of their customers, and from a driver's perspective, they most likely take care, take the customer's side, but not this time. What is this new feature? It's a sign for feature that now requires signatures from customers at delivery for certain handed to me customers. You are going to want to watch this entire video until the end because I'm going to share why this is very beneficial for drivers and tips if you get a signature required on a DoorDash delivery. It started in my area a couple of weeks ago and it is designed for those customers that abuse their refund policy on DoorDash. Better yet, it prevents habitual DoorDash scammers trying to get free food at the expense of the restaurant. If you are new to DoorDash, yes, you can get deactivated for a false claim of a customer not receiving their order. Deactivate first, ask questions later, or as I like to say, guilty until proven guilty as a driver. According to the DoorDash policy, and I quote, charges paid by you for completed and delivered orders are final and non-refundable. DoorDash has no obligation to provide refunds or credit, but may grant them in each case in DoorDash's sole discretion. I guess DoorDash is finally using their sole discretion. If you look at other YouTube videos, Reddit, or even Facebook, there are customers who brag that they found a hack to get free food. Their bragging has led to abuse of the system and now they have to sign for their order. There is even a TikTok that has gone viral that generated 1.2 million views because she now has to sign for all of her orders going forward. She claimed something was missing in every order so she would get a refund and that the driver wouldn't be blamed. That's so kind of her, right? I personally already had a couple of orders where I had to gain a signature. Some were fine with it, but one was not too thrilled. Hi, how are you? Good. Here you go, and then I just need a signature from you. I guess I, you know, it just started like a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so we can bye. And then also, I need you to type in your full name. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great day. There are definitely disadvantage as a driver with this new feature, such as someone has to touch your phone, which I personally was not too thrilled about. And a customer can still pretend not to answer their door, wasting your time. And who's to say they can't create another DoorDash account and still do it until their account gets flagged again. If you do get a signature required, here are some tips I've learned doing these types of orders. First, start the timer as you are arriving. The five minutes is bad enough, time is money. Next, text the customer when you leave the restaurant that a signature is required. No one likes surprises and they might just be waiting for you. Finally, if a customer asks you why, just say it's a new requirement. What do I personally think of this new feature? I actually really like it. Is it a pain to get the signature? Absolutely. But if it stops customers from getting stuff for free at the expense of the driver, I am all for it. For me, it's very similar to the Uber Eats pin number. That too was designed for those customers trying to scam the system. However, Uber Eats pin number has been out for years now. DoorDash might be a little late to the game. So, 
Which one do you like better? The Uber Eats pin number or the DoorDash signature required? And which one do you think that the customer likes better? If these features make less contract violations and do the activations when it's not your fault, it leads to happier drivers. So let me know what you think of this new feature. Do you think it will help those customers trying to get free food? And has it come to your area yet? If you are looking for more DoorDash information, don't forget to check out this video and make sure you are subscribed to this channel and the bell is turned on so you know when the latest videos come out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Bye everyone.